it's almost four o'clock, man. What a slow Saturday. I don't know if we're gonna hit our goal, but I guess we'll see, won't we? Hey guys, so it's 9 a.m., right? And we're getting ready to go on a dash for the morning. The goal for today was to turn $20 worth of gas into $100 uh, via DoorDash. So we're gonna start up and get moving. I'm excited to see what it takes to get there in my market. I live in a smaller part of Mississippi and for a side hustle, DoorDash is really great because I can earn cash on the side. And my major goal right now is just to build like a thousand dollar emergency income. So what I wanna do today is see how long it takes us to get to $100. And if we get past that, that's great. If we don't, hey, who knows? I'll take you on the journey with me and let's see how far we get. All right, let's go. Little hot tip, if you're starting out in a morning rush and uh, you wanna be near places that serve breakfast, I recommend you start next to like a Chick-fil-A or a McDonald's. That's where most of the traffic will hit. And like clockwork, the first order of the day is from my wife. She needs a loaded tea and would like it brought to the hospital. Of course I said yes. <laughs> I love you. She did say, you are the best. I like compliments. Okay, we finally got our first order. It's for like a little over two miles, but for 7.25 going to Hardee's. Let's take it. All right, first order down. It said 7.25, but the guy tipped like 5.50, so it turned out to be $8. Not bad for a start. Let's keep going. All right, double stack order, love these. I always love double stack orders from the same restaurant because this is gonna add up real quick. Five miles for about 11 bucks, here we go. I don't know about you, but this has gotta be some of the easiest money I've ever earned in the world. Had this been available when I was in college, I would have probably bought a lot of beer. But needless to say, it's not the greatest money in the world, but let's say you wake up on a Saturday and you got a bill that you can't afford. An extra $100 might take you a long way. Am I right? Gotta love sunny days in small town Columbus, Mississippi. Oorah. All right, got those two orders in, and now we got an order for $10.50 for about three and a half miles. I think we'll take that one. Boom. In a quarter mile, <laughs> turn right onto Mississippi 12 East. GPS. Okay, just finished those two. Um, DoorDash hid the 1050 as a double order. DoorDash, you cheeky fool. Getting close to past 12. Let's see if we can pick up some more orders for this lunch session. Let's go. So yeah, just got an order for like Chick-fil-A and it was for say six miles for three dollars. Because you're an independent contracted worker, don't take those kinds of orders. You know, choose the ones that makes the most sense for mileage and for pay. Just remember that when you're driving. Cool beans. All right, another order for 750 and we are on our way. Just got a new order, 3.9 miles for $3.75. Not, come on folks, tip your driver. Okay, another order, lost pizza, 750 for like 1.2 miles. Let's go. All right, just got a 650 order from Buffalo Wild Wings, and this should put us over the halfway mark for our day. Very exciting, let's do it. Had to stop and get something to drink because you know, your boy gets thirsty and I'm, you know, when, you, when out driving, I think that it's best that you stick to only healthy foods. That's why my diet reflects who I am as a person. Red Bull and Twix, only the healthiest. Buffalo Wild Wings, little over five bucks. Let's hit it. <sighs> It's almost four o'clock, man. What a slow Saturday. I don't know if we're gonna hit our goal, but I guess we'll see, won't we? Next order, sweet peppers, 1050 for five miles. Here we go. Evening time, starting to rain. Sometimes rain means better business and you make more money. We'll find out. All right, took that one to an apartment complex and what was a 1050 order? Turned out to be a 1250. They left an extra two dollars for a tip on top of it. That's awesome. 550 for two miles. Let's do it. 
Awesome, so that 550 order turned into 750 when they gave me a stacked order with two from Jack's. Here we go. $9 order from Popeyes, taking it now. All right, another Popeyes order for 750. After that, hopefully just one more order and we'll hit over our $100 goal for the day. Here we go. All right, that was our last order for five bucks, which literally just put us barely over 100 at $100.25. What a day. Let's get back home and we'll talk about it. All right, so last night's adventure with DoorDash turned out to be a success. We got out there trying to make 100 bucks, and we did so. It did take all day long, but we did manage to do it. And what that tells me is that there are people out there who struggle every day, you know, and who have it hard, you know, maybe don't make the money that they want to. And to be honest, my wife and I make plenty of money to pay our bills and those things. But, you know, if we want to go out, we have access to a car and a phone. And on the days that she works, I can go out and make an extra hundred bucks in a matter of hours. And that's pretty awesome. Just think, if you can make a hundred dollars in a day, well, you've got 30 days in a month to do that. So if you really pushed yourself, you can make a couple grand just doing this on the side. That's pretty huge. So no more complaining. If you've got access to a car and a phone, get off your ass and go make some cash. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.